So this is the episode where I get to black brag how many palettes I have. <laughs> okay. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. Okay, I went through all my palettes and I and I picked up the most that are very good for Valentine's Day. So if you have any of them, you haven't been through your collection in a while. I don't know, or maybe one of these palettes are still. They're, they're still around, kicking around. Maybe pick it up for Valentine's. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to start with this. This is where I'm wearing. Um, Wet n Wild has like a like chocolatey red mix. And it's got a couple oranges in there. Um, of course, you wouldn't use orange, I don't think, on Valentine's Day. You keep to the nudes or you use pink. Maybe even purple. But, so. This has mostly shimmers in it. The company palette for for this. So I would pick both these up. Um, to these together, I should think it should come near ten dollars. Okay, this one came out. I think this kind of came out two years ago. Um, no, no, because I had a child. No, this is this is um last year. It's got some pops of purple in this one. In pink so this one's pretty cool and yeah, it's a little bit of Valentine's Day pink 70s pink so the Simpsons palette um this is a Morphe palette this is the 9h it's got some nice pinks in there um, nor this line here and this orange <laughs> so you get a um, you can build up the pinks. It, it will look really pretty. So. This is um, from Judas Place. This is their purple. I think it's like a... Mm, it's, it's red. It's very red. It's very pretty. This is really cheap too. You can also put this, pick this up from Ulta. That was very cheap. I think it's... How much in these palettes? $14? Very cheap. Um, This is from... Um, Morphe. This is the 9E. It got some nudes in there as well as a pink shimmer and a pinkish orangey matte. So, it's got some nudes. It got good. I think this is really, this one's really good for light skin tones. So. Okay, if you really want an ultimate nude palette, this is pretty much something that's good for makeup artists, but not the theme, of course. This is Jeffree Star, um, um, Orgy palette. That got some really great nudes in here. So, if you already have any, maybe you want to bring it out and mix it with some. Okay, this is um, Beauty Killer. I think it this one I include this one because I I really like this purple in here, very pretty, and this gold color here. I, I like I mix the um, pink and. Put, I put pink on my whole lid and, and then put this as my shimmer. It's a very, like, frosty pink shimmer. It's really, really pretty. So, this is a pretty good one. Um, I did include this one. I hate this one. But I did include it. This came out last year. I think near this time. Okay. I think. But it's a nude palette by Nimueway, whatever his name is. The shimmers definitely need glue. The eye glue. That's why I hate it. <laughs> but this one is really expensive. Um, no, I'm get the one I truly recommend you to actually get. Um. If you can find it right now. I think it may be sold out. But this one. This one came out at the same time. This is really great. It, it's got a red in here. It's got some pinks in here. And it's got some nudes. And nude shimmers. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are beautiful. It is a terrific palette. It is beautiful. And it's got a fantastic mirror. Um, I believe this is $20. And this is $15. So, 
It's a lunar, lunar beauty, which is, I can pronounce that, so. <laughs> it's a lunar beauty. I got them at the same time. Everyone was doing these pinky new pinky palettes, so I got two of them. I definitely regret buying this one, but I love this one. I probably will use this one on Valentine's Day when I go on a date with my husband. So, this is beautiful. If you can find it, I would truly pick it up. You won't regret it. Okay, okay, this one. This one, I I still need to review this one. This one's a pinky nude, very, very soft palette. I wouldn't recommend this for, um, it's by Revolution. You can pick this up from Target. I wouldn't recommend this one, looking at the color scheme, for dark skin tones. I wouldn't recommend that. Okay. okay. This one's by Morphe, too. This is a collab they did it's got some it's got a nice purple shimmer very lightly stated purple it's really pretty it's very nude it i think it's just someone i don't i think this would be too dark someone that is blonde or or have red hair to be honest i think it would be too dark um but someone with dark hair maybe dark skin would it would work for it. so this is I don't know her. I just know this palette. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, um This is one I don't know if it discontinued. I don't know. But this one's very pretty. This one's almost too light for me, but it's got some darks in it. Some darks as well as lights. It's a pinky nude palette. That it is like 35 shades. So it's a very good for makeup artists, definitely, if, if you can find it, um, to use if you're doing a wedding on Valentine's Day or near it. So, it's really pretty. Uh, this is the 35 Omnix. Um, so, I got this from TJ Maxx. So. Okay. This one is very pretty. Some of these are too dark for me. This is just a nude palette. If you're going for a nude look. It's very good for dark skin tones. I definitely recommend picking this up if you're dark skin. If you love nudes. I get out a lot of it. Like, not too much use. I think I just stay within like maybe six, seven colors. Because it can end up looking too dark on me. And I have dark hair. So, yeah. This is the 35U palette. Okay, this one's got some pinky tones if you just happen to have it. I think they still have this on stock. On stock in stock. <laughs> so it's got some pinky ones and the purples in it and some nudes. So this is the 35D. Okay, let's go to Jacqueline Hill. Okay, this is really great if you really want color on Valentine's Day. It's got some really terrific colors. Some really bright reds. Um, purples. It's very beautiful. The, people call this a sunset, sunset palette. It is very pretty. So, this is when you want to go to color on Valentine's Day. This is a Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. Okay, this is the original. This is where you want to go to nudes. And you do have some pinky shimmers in there. It does have a purple shimmer in here too. Okay. Okay, this one is the ultimate. Um, I had, I, I love this one. Um, I, YouTubers talk smack on this one, but I like it. But I've noticed that they have... Really light brown hair, the ones that didn't like it, um, and blonde hair. It's maybe just too deep for them. But this one was my go-to easy palette um, when I just had my baby. And I needed to go out somewhere. So, I love this thing. I, I truly love this thing. <laughs> so, if you have dark hair or you're, you know, 
You're dark skin. Yeah. Yeah. Got some tan too, yeah. I think you'll like this one. But if you ha are you blonde, you have light hair, I don't think you'll like it. Because judging on the YouTubers that were talking smack about it. So. <laughs> so. I don't know why I still have this in this case. I don't know why I keep some of them in the case and some not. I don't know. Okay, this is the, if you want to be fancy pants, Tasha and Nona. Palette, $48 for five shades. But I use this and created the same look on each eye. So I did, I think that did this one, this eye, and this one, this eye. They look exactly the same. So if you want to get a dupe, a dupe, you can pick up these for Wet and Wild. Sorry. But and well, pick up both of them because I use both. So it, it's pretty good dupe for it. So, but if you want to be fancy, touch it on. I hate the uh, mats in here. Um, this is Morphe. It's another cloud palette. I do not know who this is either. But anyway, um, you have some pinks in here if you can get them to work and purples but the shimmers are great in here if you already have a palette i wouldn't recommend picking up the palette it just this line here like this section is terrific i expected all through the palette but it wasn't so i won't recommend picking this up but if you already have it they have good shimmers if you just forgot about it okay this one, this can discontinued. Uh, I wish you would bring it back. I did. I've heard all the drama with Morphe. They're possibly going out of business, but this is terrific. I used it on um, Valentine's Day. I think in for three years in a row. So I don't know if I'll go to this one or the um shoot. I don't know. Is there where I'm going to go to this one or this one? It depends on my day and my mood. <laughs> to be honest. Okay, where is the palette? Or this one? So I don't know which one I'm going to go to this Valentine's Day. Is there this one? This one? Or I'm just having a hell of a day before I go out. I'm going to run to this one. If I just need to pull something together real quick. So. So we're going to be this one or this one. If I'm in a good mood. And I have time to do my makeup. So this one is terrific. If you can pick it up. I got it at TJ Maxx. No I didn't. I pick, I, I got the others from TJ Maxx. This one. I guess you ordered this from the Morphe website. Yes I did. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So, I use this one for um, Christmas as well for Valentine's Day. But it's very beautiful. This is a palette that is for people that like to blend. I'm not saying the formula is bad. It's, it's, it's terrific. Because um, you can get some good looks. Like, you can blend the, this one, and this one, and this one. It's very good. I love this shade. This one. It's really great. Um, so she makes those palettes to people that like to blend. I'm really picking up the habit to blend and really create some beautiful looks with good care, you know. She you know, I want to be you know, a good artist. <laughs> because I, I originally I, I did watercolors for a long time since like fourth grade and um a couple years now, I've picked up makeup. So, I don't know. If I'll be a working artist, I don't know. But, or I just like to wear it. I like to take care and blend and do a good job. But, I don't know. It can happen someday. Maybe someday I will become a makeup artist. I don't know. But, I do care about makeup artist techniques. And that's what, something I want to learn. 
This one's good if you already have it as well. This one got some nudes in it. Yeah, it's got orange. But it's also got a really pretty pinky red shimmer here. So I, I count this in because it had nudes in it. So Okay, we're going to Jeffree Star again. I do recommend this one over the large palette, um, Blood Sugar. Um, because it's much easier to decide your look with this palette. It's really, really pretty. So, it's just much easier. <laughs> so, I definitely, and I think it has a little bit, a better formula than this one, than the big one. That's just my opinion. But he did say he didn't change the formula. And that usually means they take, they tweak the formula a little bit. When they say that, it always means they did. So, but, but anyway, some of these are just more, just better than the ones in L. Oh, and one shade of this is a totally different shade than the big one. So, <laughs> so they play with the formula with this one. It's a different formula. I know it. Okay. Okay, this is the big one. We'll go to the big one. Um, I, if you're going to get the big one, don't get it in red. You will, it will be a pain in the ass to use it in red. Because with the white, it just, I've said this plenty of times before, it's just with the white, it, it, you can see the difference in the reds. You can see it. It, it, it just works better on a, um white background so if you can pick it up and say white I would over the red so okay um okay mm, this is I'm glad I got this one because they dis discontinued it this is for those weird balls out there this is a nude palette with a, the some of these shimmers in here are a little bit weird but I think that was done on purpose because Nimue loves weird shades like that. I like it. A lot of people hated it, but I like it. And I still like it. So. I think this will be the only one that I like of his. Because I really don't like his shimmers. <laughs> but anyway. Okay. Um, this is by Jeffree Star Pink. Collection Pink Religion, it's even gold. So, I wish this wasn't a pink background, but it is pretty light background. But I wish it was gold. It would have been better than a pink background, of course. But I do love that it's a lot of mattes in here. I love that it's a lot of mattes in here. It, it is really beautiful, but I wish that he didn't. Do it on a pink background. I can do it. I can see the difference. But if you have less than eyesight than me, you're probably going to have trouble. It is light enough, but it would have been better if this was gold. <laughs> Maybe, or like white. It could be white. It's okay. But anyway. Um... It is really pretty very pretty but you may want to swatch some of the light pinks in here to see the difference um it is very pretty I do recommend picking this up if you're a guy or a girl you just have a, a girlfriend um, or wife this is a beautiful palette this is really pretty come on um you know I'm Jeffree Star but this is very pretty palette. I love the mattes in here. But anyway. Okay. This is what everyone hated. You can pair it with his other Orgy palette. It's got some nice shades. Obviously, it's been used by me. I haven't used it in a while, though. So, but anyway. <laughs> I'm going to show you the difference. In case you're wondering. Oh, 
this one. This is a jawbreaker. It's very nice. No, this will also be good to purchase for someone on Valentine's Day. Um, it got some pinks in here. That's why I chose it. Look, it's small story. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, I'm gonna have fun putting all this stuff to get back together, huh? I hope that candle is not gonna bust. Okay. I'm gonna show you the difference. Yeah, I had a hard time with this one because there's so much just to decide from and plus the background. I end up just creating a Kool-Aid stain every time until I picked up the white one and the on small one. The small one's good because you don't have too much to work with. Okay. Yeah. Do you see any difference? Even just crazy. Okay. So that is my um Valentine's haul, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> About palettes that are good for Valentine's that I already have in my collection. So, but if you love nudes, if you're not blonde, pick, pick this one up. It's good. Hopefully it's not sold out. <laughs> I don't know. You might want to hop on to Morphe. It like, um, like, say like every couple of days check. Because you may have sales on their website. They don't have anything much yet. But they may have it in the future, so. Yep. In, oh, oh yeah, Drummer Star may have a sale on, on Valentine's Day. I'm pretty sure he will because he's been using every opportunity to have a sale lately. So, yeah, check that out too if you wanted to get some, you know, some good makeup that is on sale. You don't want to pay full price. So. Or you just buy what and buy I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And many blessings to you. Hope you read my sign. I think it's, I picked it up and I thought it was perfect to hang up. You are so worthy of a beautiful life. And I think that's very true. Because you are. Everyone I, I think is, as long as you're not. Right. Many blessings to you. And happy Valentine's Day. If you have no, you don't have a sweetheart. So what? Celebrate it on your own. Buy yourself chocolates. Buy yourself a movie. Have some wine. Chill. You know, the day to chill. So, so, that's cool. I haven't always been married. <laughs> so, I've been single. So, but I make the best of it. It's best to do that. And don't dread on it. Because you will get your opportunity to go to be with somebody. So just make sure they're the right somebody. Don't sell. Nope. I, mean, I think it was a rock star that said, don't settle only for the best <laughs> or something like that. But anyway, thank you so much.